in your presence. Well, I will. I'd make fun of Will any day around you because you'd probably be like, yeah, you're true. You're right. He's a loser. I mean, <laughs> you know you'd agree with me if I called Will a loser. Personally? Yeah, personally. How many is in your household? It's no. a survey for the National Gun Association. No. Probably 15. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of guns. Jesus, show me the one prepared. Don't get a please. I mean, you my asked. uncle, my, uh, my papa on me shot my uncle. Why? Okay, the video camera's on me. <laughs> it was. Uh, my family used to play this game called Tag. With guns? <laughs> no. Listen, okay. Shane, shut up. And in the game, you bought a file and it had like everybody's information on it, but it was like only like a select group of people that were playing. So my Uncle Mole had my Papa Bill's name. So Uncle Mole was like, well, Bill just got back from a business trip. I'll go shoot him when like while he's walking around in the house. Because they have to shoot each other with fake guns, and then once you kill them, then you get their file, and you have to keep killing until you get your folder. And then, so, Papa heard somebody in the house, and he just got back from business trip, so of course he wasn't thinking about the freaking game. So, he comes downstairs with, like, his shotgun, and Uncle Mole, like, walks around the corner, with his little like toy nerf gun and Papa Bill has a big shotgun and then they stop playing the game because Uncle Mo almost died. Granted Uncle Mo did break into the house. That that did happen, that that was a real thing. But whatever I guess. They're everybody's still alive. Cellulitis, which is an actual thing, and it's inflammation of the cells. Oh, my mom had cellulitis. Yeah, it's a. It's her face looked like Cindy Lou. <laughs> there was. I'll see if she has any pictures on it. So. Who's 
last year, wasn't it? No, it was a couple years ago. What was last year? She had allergic reaction. She was like, she had some kind of like, I don't know, some kind of zit on her face, and she like poked it with a safety pin. Yep. And she didn't properly clean it. Yep. And so it got all her face infected, and her face, she was like, we were, I remember we were watching Jaws for the, my very first time, and I was so upset because we had to go to the hospital because Mom poked her face with a needle. I was like, thanks, Mom. You always know how to ruin my night. You can. But then I was really worried because she was very Yeah, sick. but you can get it from something that's more benign and innocuous. Yeah. 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 Listen to my explanation, watch. If I am, maybe it'd be better if I have one. Let me make you a visual. Hydrochloric acid, yes? When I am hydrochloric acid and I go into water, I actually am a solid, it's called hydrogen chloride, and I go into water and I go like this. Yes? This is where the source of hydrogen ions in a base, I mean, excuse me, in an acid comes from. If I put hydrogen chloride, solid hydrogen chloride in water, and all of the hydrogens and the chlorine separate from each other, and so now I have this hydrogen ion, and I have this chlorine ion, and they're all chilling in the water. If all of them separated, we say that they have completely ionized. If I put a bunch of hydrogen chloride into water, 
and maybe every other of them splits apart, so if some of them stay together and some of them split apart, then they have not ionized completely. Okay? So how strong, and the same is true with bases. Bases are something and hydroxide together. Put them in water, they split. So now I have hydroxides. OH with one minus charge, chilling, and something positive, chilling. How strong or weak an acid or base is depends on how well it does that. Pardon the interruption. Okay? Any girl planning on playing volleyball, please report to the gym lobby at this time. Thank you. Mary, I'm so sorry. That happens every day. We're going on without y'all. BT okay. does. So, a strong acid. Remember, you guys are copying this. A strong acid... or a strong base completely ionizes in water. And strong bases will have a pH that is far from 7. Please underline, highlight, star, whatever you need to do, the word far. from 7. What is 7? On the pH scale, what is 7? Neutral. Neutral. So if I am an acid and I'm far from 7, what's the furthest I can be from 7 in the acid range? base, what is the furthest I can be from 7 in the base range? 14. 14. Okay? Now, weak acids or weak bases will only slightly ionize in water. What, that, what does that mean? That means some of the ionic bonds that make it up to begin with stay intact. Weak acids and bases will have a pH that is near 7. Lindsay, does your mom give you anything to give me?
Anybody need more time? Okay. Now, you don't need to write that down necessarily. We're going to do a little practice. Okay? There's only six of you in here right now. Five of you are going to get called on. So I'm coming for you. Okay? Go in your notes to where we talked about reaction types. This is at the tail end of balancing equations, synthesis, decomposition, single replace, double replace, combustion. Anybody want to guess what this reaction type might be? Uh, double, replacement. double replacement. Okay? Shane, you can't talk to me anymore. Oh. Compound, what did we say when we were doing this? Plus compound, compound. yields, compound. compound. Plus compound. Okay? And remember, we distinguish double replacements from some of the other reaction types that we see because this is not a particular compound. This is not a particular compound. This is not a particular compound. Okay? So Shane is out.
Synthesis. Why? Because two components come together to make one thing, yes? Could it be could it be more than two over here? Could it be like five things coming together? So long as there is one thing on the right, it's synthesis. Yes? Okay. We have five reaction types. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, combustion. Tomorrow when we get in here, we're going to learn about neutralization reactions. Okay? Actually, no, we're going to learn today. We're going to learn some of it today. I was trying to make the bell ring right this second. we got a couple minutes anyways. Okay? Now, this is our sixth and final type of reaction, okay? That is a neutralization reaction. Neutralization reactions occur between an acid, which starts with H, a base that ends with OH, and we will always get water and a salt. Shh, girls. Now, here's an example. Probably the most classic example of a neutralization reaction is the reaction between hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, to yield NaCl, which is sodium chloride, and water. Is that the only neutralization reaction that occurs? No. Anytime you put an acid with a base, you're going to get water, and you're going to get a salt. Now, this is sodium sulfate. This is a salt. You would not put sodium sulfate on your french fries. I don't know, it could be tasty. No? But it is a salt. What is a salt? A salt is an ionic compound made of an anion from an acid and a cation from a base.
bothered me when my stuff's not in the correct order, so. Just takes me to remind me I'm going to put it. Homework for tonight. Written homework, SLO review packet, worksheet, SLO review worksheet number one. Yes? That's written homework due to the start of class tomorrow. J Lab number two. Remember, 20 questions minimum, a minimum of 70%. Not later than Thursday of this week. The start of class Thursday of this week. Yes? Keep up with your SOL folder. Bring it to class tomorrow. Don't lose it. <laughs>